name's Andrew Rice. I'm a fellow at Queen's and something called a reader in the Department for Computer Science and Technology. And together with my colleague, Alistair Beresford, I help direct studies here at Queen's for Computer Science. Hello, I'm Alistair Beresford. Uh, I'm a fellow at Queen's College and also one of the two directors of studies uh, for computer science at Queen's. I'm also a professor of computer security uh, at the University of Cambridge. In the department, I lecture and teach and run research projects. Uh, my teaching is normally around programming languages. I teach a first year course on object oriented programming and then a really awesome uh, language in the second year called Prologue, uh, which many students haven't seen before uh, uh, it gets taught, but is a lot of fun to, uh, to learn. In Cambridge, the department is uh, responsible for organizing lectures uh, as well as practical labs. And in recent years, I've taught several different courses, including software and security engineering, uh, programming in Java in the second year, as well as uh, two courses in computer security for fourth year students and master's students. In my research, I'm interested in programming languages and what we can do to help software engineers write better code and get it done quicker. And uh, in that respect, I also do quite a lot of work with industry, looking at how we can turn some of the ideas from research into practice. In terms of research, I explore the security and privacy of computer systems with a particular focus on mobile devices such as laptops, smartphones, embedded computers uh, and so on. Uh, and of course an example of the coming trend in that is the Internet of Things. So first of all a little bit about teaching. So uh, supervision is of course the primary method of us teaching in the college where we collect together students in groups of two or three and run through uh, supervision questions which students have uh, answered in advance and talk about uh, the answers that the students have written and also about a broader range of topic areas and how they interrelate. Uh, and I enjoy supervising students in the first two years across a range of different topics. Uh, in recent years, for example, I've taught programming, taught operating systems, graphics, as well as artificial intelligence. In the third and fourth year, I also help students with their personal projects and the writing of their dissertations. Here at Queen's, we try to admit around about six to eight undergraduate students a year. And the reason for that is uh, that we like to have a large enough number of students that uh, you can be a sort of a functioning group and say if two people fall out, then um, they can still avoid, them, avoid each other uh, pretty easily while still going about um, working as a group. And at the same time, we also want to have a small enough number of students that Alistair and I can get to know you all as individuals and um, uh, help you as you go through your studies. So you might wonder why Queen's? Well, Andy and I are really keen to ensure that students get the very best out of their time in Cambridge. And of course, arranging excellent supervisions and uh, small group teaching in the college is an important part of that. Directing studies is a really fun job because you get to know every student as an individual and um, by the end of the year, uh, know what your strengths are and what your weaknesses are, uh, when to give you a kick and say, um, come on, let's get some work done, and when to, when to say, relax a bit and, um, and take the foot off the pedal. That six to eight number is very important to us and building a cohort is something that we really uh, try to work hard at. And we're also really keen to try and build a community of computer scientists in the college. And as part of that, we help run the Queen's Computer Science Society and uh, arrange weekly meetings on Wednesdays. Here we offer students the opportunity to give short talks on area of computer science that interest them, to run quizzes, help them run hackathons, programming sessions, and so on. Uh, one large part of those is presentations. So every uh, third year student will give a talk about a topic of their choosing, and then all of the rest of us will tell them what we thought of that. And by the time you get to your third year, you'll be ready to stand up and do this too. And many students, when they come back, tell me that they remember those practice sessions as something that really stood them in good stead when they got out into, the, into industry and had to present in front of people for real. Much of this is student-led uh, and very interactive. And since all the year groups come along, it's a great way to ensure everyone gets to know one another. And that's really useful when you want some help with um, a piece of coursework or someone who can actually explain an idea in detail to you. The other thing that we're very keen on is trying to help people transition from school into university and what we can do to help with that. And so I run a transition program throughout the first year where um, all of the Queen's first year students meet with me once a week and we do various activities together 
both in terms of uh, reviewing and uh, trying to put the pieces of the course together in a more understandable way and also thinking about ways to work together and also sort of general learning strategies how to deal with this thing called supervisions and how to get the most out of it and all of those kind of areas. The application process of course is something that we take very seriously. We want those students who have the best potential to receive an offer. If you're thinking of applying you might be asking what subject should I be studying at school and what choices should I make and the first thing I'd say is that uh, we look at everybody's educational background as an individual. We have uh, a lot of applicants but we also have enough time to look at everyone and try and make try and understand your background so if in any way what you've done is unusual then don't worry about that we, we take it into account. This means that we look at your application paperwork uh, um, carefully and take all of your personal circumstances into account. We also receive many applications from around the world so we see a wide variety of students with many different backgrounds. In terms of subjects to study at school we're really keen on mathematics and so we encourage students to study as much, math much mathematics as they're able to do so. Uh, if you're doing A-level that means further maths uh, but we equally understand that some students are unable to do this maybe your school doesn't offer it and so instead also just consider about what, what other maths you can do to try and demonstrate to us that you'll really be able to keep up with the mathematical content of the course. After we've sort of investigated the all the maths side um, of your education we're also interested in uh, your interest in the subject. When you get to Queen's we're going to be really interested in doing as much computing with you as possible and we really want students who will respond well to that and so that means you need to be interested in the course. We are looking for applicants who have a demonstrable interest in computer science and so have a think about a project that you have already started or perhaps one you'd like to start which might allow you to demonstrate your passion and interest. If you come to an interview here we'll be trying to understand your interest in the subject and really that's something you want to prove to yourself too before you think about applying to do computer science. What have you done that really proves that you that you want to do it and what have you convinced yourself that you're really going to enjoy it when you get here? What makes you uh, particularly keen to study computer science at university? Um, perhaps this is a project you might be able to complete over the summer or at least make a good start on and it's something you could then write up to describe in your personal statement when you make an application. Uh, we may then pick up on this topic as something we'd like to talk to you about at interview. If you're studying in uh, England then also you might be doing computer science A level and uh, that's great. Uh, it's a particularly good way of checking whether you like computer science. Um, uh, if you're not doing computer science A level then don't worry about it but instead think about what you're doing instead to try and demonstrate and fill in that gap to show us that you're really interested in the subject. It's a real shame that I can't meet you in person this year to talk about your excitement and passion for the subject at one of the open days. It's really nice normally talking to everybody at open days and finding out what's going on but um, hopefully that will be possible sometime in the future and uh, in the meantime uh, I hope this answers some of your questions and maybe look forward to welcoming you to Queen's one day. I look forward to seeing what you have to write when you make an application and find out a little bit more about what interests you about computer science.